Equoquis modified parasternal long axis view in a cyanotic congenital heart disease. Here is a modified PLAX view on echocardiography in a cyanotic infant. What are your findings and interpretations? Please subscribe to this channel for future updates. Click on the subscribe button. Press the bell icon after that for all updates. Findings are easy to appreciate as it is an annotated image. Parasternal long axis view is often the first view taken during echocardiography. Usually it visualizes the left ventricle, left atrium, right ventricular outflow region and aorta. Here we have a modified parasternal view to trace the great vessel arising from the left ventricle distally. The great vessel can be clearly seen as bifurcating into two branches. This appearance is characteristic of pulmonary artery. When aorta is imaged distally, the arch with great vessels will be seen. In this case, pulmonary artery is arising from the left ventricle, that is ventriculoarterial discordance. Aorta was seen arising from the right ventricle in another view in this cyanosed infant. There was a small patent ductus arteriosus and a small atrial septal defect. There was mitral pulmonary continuity without any conus tissue intervening. No significant subpulmonic gradient was noted. Right panel shows non-turbulent flow in the main pulmonary artery in blue color. Overall, the features were consistent with transposition of great arteries. In transposition of great arteries, the systemic and pulmonary circulations are parallel, unlike the serial situation in normal individuals. Hence, good mixing at some level is needed for survival. The best form of mixing is at the atrial level. Hence, the role for balloon atrial septostomy for a cyanotic neonate with TGA. Significant mixing at the ventricular level or great artery level can also improve the survival. When a large ventricular septal defect and subpulmonic stenosis are present, the physiology is similar to that of tetralogy of fallow with reduced pulmonary blood flow. In the absence of pulmonary stenosis, large VST will cause increased pulmonary blood flow, pulmonary hypertension, and infants present with cyanosis and heart failure soon after birth. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for future updates and click on the bell icon for all updates. Thank you.